So for anybody who doesn't know who Justin is, I know m most of you guys who follow uh, like Lucinio and who follow RLRS will be fully aware of who Justin is. I think he's the MVP dude. for RLRS. Love the pentathlons. Keep up the outstanding content. Somebody can correct me if I'm wrong about that though. Uh, but yeah, this guy is nutty at air dribble. Stick around until the end. Um, stick around until the end of the video, and I'll show you some of uh, Justin's air dribbles that have hit the front page of Rocket League Reddit. They're definitely worth seeing. And if you're not already a fan of this guy, I'm sure you will be once you've seen them. Because honestly, I think right now he might be the best air dribbler in the game, at least um, from what I've seen, because it's ridiculous. I, they're they're taking turns for possession. Espion's decided he's going to defend first, but he hasn't told anybody. <laughs> These guys are so polite. Uh, ever, I don't mind. It's totally fine. I don't mind. <laughs> These guys are so polite. They're like, can I go first? No, do you want to go first? Oh, we've gone for unlimited boost today just to switch it up. We'll see what Justin can do because he's done some nutty things with unlimited boost in the dribbling Here's challenge. Johnny. Hopefully, if you have time to stick around and watch that, I'll show you at the end. Because that's the stuff that really blew my mind is uh, this dribbling challenge. Air dribbles. Espion going for an extremely low air dribble. If he'd pulled that off, that would have been really impressive. Um, yeah, I don't know why it took me so long to think about doing this one with unlimited boost. It seems like a bit more fun, a bit more um, in in tune of what the this whole mode is trying to do. Also, one other thing I want your feedback on, uh, chat, is um, how would you guys like? Oh, that's an air dribble dunk by Espion. Not bad. How do, it's pretty hard to defend this. Hold that thought, I will uh, get back to what I was going to say. Justin taking a little bit too long to position himself. He didn't think Espion was just going to go for a really low uh, air dribble into a dunk with the large side of the, hit, the breakout, which is one of the biggest hitboxes from Bird's Eye View. But I was going to say, um, would you guys prefer or would you like to see one of these air dribble or ceiling shot or rebound only 1v1s? Except the, the goal isn't to win in score. Uh, it's not the... That's not the aim. Oh, Espeon, what a dribble, but he's accidentally saved it. That's so unfortunate. He had to keep getting touches to take it past Justin, but in doing so, he saved it. Um, but yeah, instead of the score, would you like it just to be the best goal wins? And you guys can vote for the best goal at the end of the match. So I'll just do a straw poll, and you guys can vote to tell me who you think got the best goal. SP on the another incredibly ambitious low start uh, air dribble. Yes, a couple of yeses. Best goal wins, best goal wins. Right, for this one we're not doing that because I didn't tell these guys that that's what we were going to do. Oh, look at that from Justin. He just landed on Espeon. And now he's going to dab on him as well. That was pretty sick. I'm not sure if uh, it was 100% intended when he initially went up for it, but I'm sure at the end that little lean into Espeon was 100% intended. This is just going to be a normal one. We might do three games, we might do best of three. I don't really mind. I'm just, uh, you know, enjoying watching these guys show off their mechanics. He's building with some really interesting ways to start air dribbles here. He's, he's still not giving up. <laughs> I'm not sure if this quantifies as an air dribble. <laughs> he's still going. He's got unlimited boost, so he's not giving up on the play till it's over. I love it. Justin's going to start backwards, though. I've seen him do this before. It's very impressive that you can keep lifting the ball even once it's trying to fall down the towards the ground but it's gonna take a few more attempts I think to get it right. Espeon maybe going for a rebound doesn't need it it's gonna go bar down Justin not able to get the save. Good air dribble by Espeon. I talked a lot about Justin at the start and I feel like I might have done Espeon a disservice but uh, because Espeon for anybody who doesn't know is a former pro player now he has uh, retired because he just doesn't have any time to um, play as much Rocket League as would be required to stay at the top of his game. Justin perfectly reading the ceiling bounce, but unfortunately not able to get it past SP on the near post. And he says he's getting clapped GG gents in the chat, so he's not happy about this. But for anybody who did follow SP on back in the day, he was super, super good at air dribbles before they were really, um, you know, that popular in 3v3 competitive. And they weren't that common. That's a really tough one to save. Espeon somehow kept it out, though. Well played. Justin got a great hitbox on the dunk, but Espeon was equal to it. But certainly off-the-wall air dribbles. Espeon was one of the first to really master these. Uh, so he's more than enough, or more than capable of 
making a series out of this, I'm sure. Even though Justin might be, in my opinion, the best right now. That is going to be a tough save. Look at the rebound. Oh my goodness. How do you stop this if you are an Espeon and you're in the goal? Of course, if you're on the back wall, this might be defendable. But if you're in the goal, that is something, something else. And of course, we don't allow back wall defense for this just to make it a little bit more interesting. It's the advantage of the, of the defender, or the, the advantage that the defender has is that he knows that the, um, the air dribble is coming. And then of course, we have to try to bring, uh, give something to the attacker, give, a, give an advantage to the attacker. Uh, so we're giving him a limited boost. Defender has to stay on his goal line and he's not allowed to use the back wall. That's the, that's the rules that we've got here. This is just ridiculous. Justin, rinse and repeat. Bar down and in this time. Espeon trying to play the goalkeeping style where he doesn't shadow. He's trying to face Justin, which is dangerous for the exact reason that we're seeing. That is Justin is just lifting the ball way over him to the back post and Espeon can't fly fast up in the air and also backwards. It's a big problem for him. And Espeon is struggling with his own angles, but he's got the floor pinch at the end. Justin did not see this one coming. That is incredible by Espeon. Well played underneath Justin. <laughs> Probably my favorite. Oh, it's hard though. Justin's second goal is also phenomenal. Yeah, that, that's my favorite Espeon goal for sure. And I will reiterate, we're not going to do the chat voting for best goal um, today to decide the winner of this, but we might do it for fun. We might just do it for fun. Espeon is really struggling to deal with Justin's air dribbles. I kind of want him to turn around and play a shadowing style. Oh, he pre-jumped really early and then decided to pull it back down again before going back up. And it's kind of disgusting how consistent Justin is indeed. Espeon, very creative though, and he's got a brilliant air dribble himself. This is that's unbelievable. How do you defend this if you are in goal? Yeah, Justin with her free jump does nearly make contact with the ball, but Espeon's got the bar down again. 4-4, four, four. this is incredible. The goalkeeping hasn't been great, but the shots have been unbelievable. And that is just like two heavyweight boxers who have no defense, but chins of steel battling against each other. Oh my goodness, Justin, are you kidding me? What is this? That is unbelievable. One turn, two turn, three turns, four turns, and the dunk at the end. No big deal for Justin. Just a four, what's four times 360? I can't do the math in my head. 720 times two, four, one, 1440 degree spin, air dribble dunk. Yeah, good luck Espeon. Espeon trying to go for a much more basic but effective strategy. This time Justin was in the way. He is not wasting any time though. He is gonna rinse and repeat and try to get another goal. At least that, uh, or give Espeon a chance to come back. This time he's going slow like a seal leaning back and carrying it on top of his nose. Gotta say that um, adding the unlimited boost is probably a lot of fun. It's giving us more chances. I'm forgetting that you can't really air dribble if you set it up like that, going for a ceiling shot, so that's not really good work. Let me just catch up on some subs before the, or as this game finishes. Dan Hodge, thanks for the four months uh, combination. Combination. I just realized what you've done with your name. That is very clever. Combination. I appreciate you as well. Welcome back. Or welcome, rather, with your prime sub. Um... Ilin Sky, thanks for the nine months. Very much appreciated. And uh, who else we got here? Chi Chief Chief EOG. Chief EOG. I don't know how to say that properly, because it isn't a word, but I appreciate you. Thanks for dropping your prime in my stream. And Volatile Biscuit for the year of subbing. Welcome back, my man. I think that's everybody. If I did miss you, then be sure to tell uh, King Spectre in my chat and he'll alert me. Oh no! We got default camera Justin, that's not good. Somebody tell me how to fix this. I always forget how to fix the default camera glitch. I'm sure there's a way, but I don't know what it is. Maybe I can go to direct the camera and then Here's back and it'll Johnny. fix itself. Nope. Oh well, I tried. On board with Espeon, regardless. He's going for a back post. Reba nearly gets it. He got the ball over Justin, which is impressive. Justin was flying pretty high. Josh HYC, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub as well. I appreciate you. Justin is just going to tornado spin every single goal into the net. I'm staring at my chat, trying to see if there's a... Uh... Go, out, go out to spectate and back. Okay. Well, let's do that. Nope. Um...
Hopefully they didn't see me joining there. Oh, it doesn't work. Oh, I tried. I don't know how to fix this. It's really annoying. Espeon's gonna go for a ridiculous mind game. Look at that. He managed to catch the ball and he had it rolling towards the bottom corner, ju expecting Justin to pre-jump. That was nasty, but Justin's got under him as well. Espeon gives him the nice shot because that was dirty. Espeon did this to Justin in game one. Does that count? I would say it counts. It's kind of an air dribble. I, I think it was an air dribble. Espeon, Espeon thinks so too, and he's the one getting scored on, so I think we're at an agreement. You have to ask the person who has it to change a camera setting. Justin has to change teams. Okay, I'll tell him. Um, let me, let me tell him. Justin, can you change, or uh, can you, uh, I'll just, I'll, I'll let him dribble. Hold on, he's air dribbling. Let me, let me just do it, let him just do his thing for a second. He's doing it again, this is unbelievable. The perfection of this man's control. Not for a moment has he lost control. You think he's dropping it, but no, he's just setting up another floor pinch. That's unbelievable. Um, okay. Justin, you know it. Can you change a camera? Oh, I think he might have done it. Justin did it! Yay! Thanks, Justin. I've got a feeling that you might be watching the stream because I was typing and then he did it. Maybe some, maybe one, of you, maybe one of you guys in the chat uh, told him to do it. I'm not sure. We did it though. We did it. Reddit. Espion is given these floor pinches of his uh, a go of his own. I've got to say credit to Espion. He told me before this that he expected to get 100% clapped, and you know some people would say he is getting clapped, um, but. He's given it a great go here, and even though he's got rusty mechanics, as he told me himself before the game started, he is looking pretty sharp, honestly. Looking like his control is pretty good, and it would have to be to give Justin a, a real battle in this mode. This is this is a mode which has really just been made for this guy. Reading the ceiling bounce again, he's going to retake control of the ball, trying to bounce it over Espeon this time. Espeon with the save, though. What is the fix I was typing? I was going to tell Justin to change a camera setting, like change FOV by one or something. Because if you change FOV by one, that might work. Espeon wants to start from the ball carry. Got another go at it. Not the greatest first touch. So he's had to adapt, hope that Justin pre-jumps. Unfortunately, Justin's goalkeeping in game two has been an improvement. He's taken it so close to the ceiling without hitting it. It's saved though by Espeon that time. As Justin would have rebounded that, I am sure. Remember, uh, remind me, uh, rather, chat, remind me at the end of this match, once these guys are done playing, uh, to show you some of the Reddit clips that I saw, which really opened my eyes to how nuts, nutty Justin is. I was lucky to see a couple of them live, because he does stream on Twitch. And uh, I saw Espeon streaming on Twitch the other day as well, be sure to give them some love. Espeon's a really, really nice guy. I've got actually some content planned with him. Um, I know a lot of you will remember his commentary at Gold Rush uh, and his analytics for Rocket League were much appreciated so with that in mind I've got something lined up with old SBL. Justin is doing it again though off the backboard air dribbling it straight at the crossbar and then he fades away at the last second look at this turns his car away from the ball just so that he's got that gap for the ball to bounce off the crossbar and then come back at him almost unstoppable Espeon losing 4-0 here, but no shame to be conceding these goals, this is just dirty. Espeon again trying to emulate Justin, I like that he's looking at Justin's shots, he says, hmm, that's pretty good, I'm going to try that myself. Um, pretty hard to just learn on the fly and, you know, copy someone who's clearly been doing this for quite some time. Looking at the back top left, this time Espeon is there. He hasn't changed his goalkeeping strategy at all, he's still playing the just look, look him in the eye strat. Well, this is well played by Espeon. If he got one more touch there, that would have been on target. He did well to rescue what looked like a complete lost cause. Justin again, just glued to the ball. He's going for a negative angle rebound. That would have been insane if he hit that. Yeah, when I, when I saw uh, Justin streaming, I just, I, I just knew I have to show you guys, uh, or I have to introduce whoever Whichever one of you guys do not know Justin, to, you know, get that introduction going, because I'm sure that you you want to go and check it, check out his stream, check out his uh, his team in RLRS, who I think have a great chance of qualifying for RLCS Season 5, by the way, if anybody is wondering. 
Espeon, good usage of his second jump there. He's still going, but Justin is really patient with his air with his air dribble defense this game, and that's working out really well. He was conceding in game one because he was pre-jumping a little bit too early, and Espeon was able to slow the ball down in a couple of occasions and beat him, uh, or you know, beat Justin um, by letting Justin beat himself almost. This is going to come off the ceiling really, really hard to start the air dribble. Espeon's nearly Johnny. done it though. <laughs> He's gone for a mind game. It's not gonna work. Nice to see Justin Pokemon's is playing really driving patient. after ball with a car. Keep up the good work. What? Way 13 next to the 10 months. Good to see Pokemon's driving after the ball. Justin's done well. He kept this up in zero seconds and started the air dribble. I don't know how he does it, but every time he manages to make it look so easy. This is far, far from easy to start this air dribble, keep the ball under full control, keep lifting it towards the net. The poor Espeon is pre-jumping on the spot, waiting. He's just floating there like, are you going to stop touching this ball? Can I Can I touch it now? Is it my turn? And Justin's like, no, no, no. This is my ball. I will keep touching. So I'm not sure if these guys wanted to do a best of three or, or three games. I'm dying to watch another one game. Um, <laughs> Espeon says he never knows how early to jump. Yeah, well, or... Being allowed to go on the wall would make it easy or easier. And who wants that? Yeah, who who wants easy defense? We want the goalie to be completely screwed. We want to make rules so so that goalkeeping is impossible. Espion, if you could take a game here, that's really really impressive because Justin is 100% playing um, as we expected him to play let me see if Justin can change one FOV real quick um, there we go thank you thanks Justin for fixing the camera and thanks to Found Productions for telling me how to do that because I totally forgot I always forget how to fix the default camera glitch so big thanks to you for getting that one Started. This is just ridiculous. Justin finds more and more creative ways to score. It's just like dip it up, need to wait for the ball to come lower. I might as well do a backflip and then we're just gonna touch it ten times in one second. No big deal. It's just ridiculous. The backflip did have a use there. It wasn't just for style. He wanted to be able to get a touch where he's lifting the ball uh, with the front end of his car. And to do that, the obviously front end of his car had to come up, and the only way to get it in that position is to do a full rotation. Sometimes see people doing that if they're going for a fake air dribble and then into a catch. See, Espeon does get a mind game there. Unattended or not, it does go in. Justin caught pre-jumping. That was his biggest mistake in the first game that they played. He was pre-jumping a little bit too early. It's really difficult, says Espeon, to know when to jump, and there's not, you know, absolutely no fault there. It's 100% accurate. This time he does get it right. Getting that interception when you're against an opponent who might go for the backboard rebound, who might go for the direct squash it right underneath the crossbar goal, who might just go for a mind game, who might go for a dunk. There's so many different options that these guys have. Justin has shown us several times he's very, very capable of slowing and accelerating the ball midair at will. A bit too linear that time though at Espeon. Yeah, for a underdog story. I'd love to see Espeon getting a game. That's a good good try. Nearly getting the rebound into the net. I'm pretty sure Justin was beaten there. If Espeon was able to get the um You forgot the red eclipse? Well I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it like after this game, bro. I'm, I am reading the chat. That would be the best goal by far. What would be the, what would be the best goal by far? I've forgotten. A bit too long ago. Oh Espeon nearly squashes it into the far post. I have to say that Espeon's got some deceptive control. He almost makes it look as if he's lost control of the ball. This time he is going to shadow. This is good. I like this from Espeon. Bit easier to cover multiple angles. Yeah, I said three games. Not best of three. Don't worry. We're doing another game here. But um, Espeon makes it look as if he's lost control. Then it, he actually has control uh, still. And that's really useful. A really, really useful skill to have. Something that we've seen Cux do very well in the past. He's just trick people in 1v1, make it look as if he's beamed it, but he's actually stilly, uh, stilly, still in control of the play. Mincy GT, thanks for the prime sub, thanks for dropping the prime in my stream. Oh, inside of the inside of the post defense from Dustin, that's creative. We did not disallow that at all, mostly because it's not that um, 
useful most of the time. <laughs> and if somebody could pull off an inside of the goal save, that would be impressive. Look at the lift that Justin's able to get there. Oh, that would have been gorgeous. <laughs> As he slaps Espion to the moon and back. Accidentally on his rotation back to defense. It is a tight game though, so obviously no ill intent. Espion almost able to get the rebound off the near post. Justin was really just trusting Espion to miss that one, which is dangerous. Espion is nearly able to score it. Well, Justin might have been this, but he's recovered and done something with it at least. Tried maybe to adapt to the floor pinch at the last second. Instead gets the pop. Both these guys have had really great first touches um, to set up their air dribbles, it has to be said. And Espion going for a dunk this time. Good mix up. It's mostly... Well, in the air dribbles, Espion's not really managed to materialize into a shot. It's usually the second touch of playing and then good save again. These guys are getting pretty good at saving these uh, these air dribble dunks. There's a pretty low second touch. It's that that second touch sometimes is bothering Espion. He doesn't get the the right touch all at once he's jumped off the wall at the ball. Somehow Justin is controlling the ball with freestyles yet again. Still all tied up. Espion is definitely wanting a win here. To the surprise of no one. Oh, it's going to be a, a shot attempt, perhaps. Again, that second touch. He's getting the pop up the wall reasonably Here's consistently. But then that first touch, once he comes off the wall, that is where Justin has the biggest advantage because he's getting so many more chances to go for actual shots instead of having to recover and try to regain control of the ball. He's Espion very often at that second touch there. So he's getting, he's popping it off the wall. First touch is decent. <laughs> Second touch once he comes off the wall is putting it away from himself a little bit too much. I think getting a bit nervous now as we get into the last minute. So close to getting the W. And he's got one more air dribble at least to defend. But again, Espion has had better goalkeeping in this third game. Ross Farrell, thank you for the prime sub, by the way. And Grush, it's all. Thanks for the 43 shares. All right, Espion is going to go for something peculiar. <laughs> I don't know if this is what he meant to do. Here we go. So he's going to go for the... Standard wall setup to the backboard. Looking for the rebound. Crossbar denies him. It was always going to be a tough one when he's moving it that fast and that high. Justin has at least one more chance. It would be very impressive if Espion could keep this one up. He actually still has his flip here. Does Justin? Air dribbles it two touches before dodging. But it is Espion who's going to get the first touch in overtime. It's getting pretty close to an Espion win. Will he get a good second touch here? The answer is... Oh, almost. See, he's having to play the catch-up game. He's hit the ball just a little bit too far wide off the net for himself to catch up. That was the problem. Justin again off the ceiling. Has his flip still. Goes for a bit more of a ceiling shot, but arguably an air dribble. Oh, Espion just off the ground this time. He's mixing it up, and he's gone for a mind game. Justin saw it coming, though. These guys are honestly defending really well in this match not getting tricked by the low air dribbles. Justin needs to really do a lot of work to get this into the net, but he's done it somehow, some way. He manages to find this angle. He's nowhere near to putting it on net initially, but he gets a huge dunk, first squashing it off the post and then blocking Espion's point-blank range save. This is just incredible, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you... Uh, Go give him some love on his Twitch stream. Tell him to go do the dribbling challenge, air dribble only. And yeah, also shout out to Espion. I'll, I'll uh, hopefully get him back in the stream for some other content pretty soon. I've got something lined up. But um, yeah, Justin Justin is uh, teamed with Epic Johnny and Lucinio for anybody who didn't know. He is... Uh, looking to make a splash in RLCS Season 5. Hopefully they can get it. I think they deserve to to get in with how they've been playing this season. But uh, before I forget, I did tell you guys I was going to show you some Reddit clips, and I plan to. Let me just quickly check if my screen region is working. Oh, okay, I can do it like this. I can do it like this. Okay, this works. So, alerts are gone, but I can finally get Reddit on here. Yes, okay, good. Um, Right, so if we just search, let's just search Justin and see what air dribbles come up. Probably like, Okay, yeah, we'll show, show you guys this one and this one. Because these two are pretty sick. I remember these. 
Okay. So air dribble challenge, or uh, no, <laughs> air dribble challenge. Maybe it is for if you're Dustin, but yeah, dribbling challenge level six. Yeah, no big deal. It's just dribble over level six and level seven as well. Easy peasy, but even better, I think. <laughs> air dribbling the entire level 28. I can't believe that this is even possible. This is nuts. Like, for anybody who's done the dribbling challenge, you know the level 28 is one where you have to weave in and out of moving walls, and there's so many walls to go past. He just air dribbled the entire thing. I don't know if he's done air, if he's air dribbled level 29. I really hope that that's possible as well. Uh, you need to sign with that one? Nah, no, sorry, I can't put the signed on because I'll get a copyright claim, unfortunately. So, or else I would. We did it early. I know it's uh, I know it's got music sync, but if you want to hear that last one in sync to the music, you need to go find the clip yourself and watch it. It's worth the watch. Go give it another like or give it another look on uh, on Justin's Twitch clips.